Hi, Lux for Less family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. If you're new, this channel is called Lux Living for Less. And on this channel, we try to find tips and tricks on how to still live a fabulous lifestyle on a for less budget. So by the title, you already know that I'm going to be sharing some things with you that I have purchased that weren't thrifted. You guys know that I love a good thrifted piece, whether it be a handbag, a pair of shoes, a garment, which garments are most of the things that I thrift, aka clothes. But you all know, overall, generally speaking, I don't mind a thrifted piece. But I've told you all before in the past that sometimes I do indulge in purchasing retail. I have been doing a little bit of retail shopping over the past few months. So without further ado, let me show you what I've been buying. The first item I wanna share with you that I purchased retail is this fragrance from the Target line Finery. And this is their Sweet on the Outside fragrance. Now, I first saw these fragrances way, way, way back. And at the time that I saw them in Target, they didn't have any sense that um, I was really drawn to, so I didn't indulge. However, I have been looking for a fragrance that has like a vanilla note. I don't generally like vanilla, but I've been wanting something that has a vanilla note, particularly since smelling the Dior Diorama fragrance that I smelled at the Dior counter in Paris. Um, that fragrance, it is a vanilla scent, but it's not like an in-your-face vanilla. Vanilla, although it's marketed as a vanilla scent, it's kind of like a behind-the-scenes vanilla scent, so you kind of smell it as it dries down and then the vanilla comes through almost like a bottom note when it's really a top note. I think that Dior Diorama was beautifully done. Um, if you're somebody who wants to indulge in vanilla but you don't like smelling like a cupcake, that's a good one. So when I smelled this one, it definitely reminded me of the Dior Diorama. And I'll put the note composition of this fragrance on the screen so that you can see what notes are included. But generally speaking, overall, if I can give it an abbreviated description, it smells like a smoky vanilla. Now, in my opinion, it can definitely be worn on its own, but I purchased it specifically to layer with other fragrances that I have. And so far, I've layered it with the Tom Ford Sole Blanc. It pairs beautifully. It's gonna be something that really blooms and really um, complements the spring and summertime season. So this finery sweet on the outside by Target is the first thing that I wanna share with you of my retail purchases. All right, now you guys know that I did go to Dallas about a month or so ago. And while I was there, I did indulge in a little bit of shopping, especially because the, the stores that they have in Dallas, we just don't have here in Jacksonville where I live. So I like to take advantage of other shopping options if I go to other markets when I can. While I was there, I went to Macy's. Macy's, just like a lot of other retailers, were having their end of season clearance at the time. So I picked up these shoes. This is by the brand INC. Now this is a dupe for the YSL Chica PVC pumps. And on the YSL, which I have tried on the YSL pumps, I've tried them on in red. They, they actually look very, very, very similar to this on the front but the YSL heel is a little bit taller than this and the YSL heel, y'all, it hurts like hell. But these, these are very, very comfortable and look at that beautiful blue that it has on it. I'll put up a picture of the YSL Chica Pump so that you can see um, the comparison, the side-by-side -side comparison for these. Now these regularly priced in Macy's, I believe were right around $80. It was like $77, $78 or something like that. But I was able to get these on sale for $31. And coincidentally, this was the only one they had in my size. So I feel like it was meant for me to have. Now the day that I purchased these, I actually wore them out that same night. Um, I went out to eat with my friend who lives in Dallas and I paired it with a Levi's uh, bomber jacket that I purchased and a pair of the uh, cargo jeans, which is the Fashion Nova dupe to the Attico jeans. And it looked really, really good. These are very comfortable. Unlike the YSL, I'm telling y'all, I tried on those YSL because I wanted them. I tried them on in red and they hurt bad. I don't regret not buying them. I totally don't regret buying this because not only is it a beautiful blue, it is a very good dupe to the ones that I wanted, but this is another thing that I purchased retail. All right, another thing that I purchased retail while I was in Dallas is a pair of Tom Ford shoes. Now, 
Neiman was also having their end of season clearance sale. So of course I had to peruse the store to see what they had, if anything on clearance in my size. Now, if you watch my Dallas vlog, you've already seen these shoes. I did briefly share them in that vlog, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna give you a more in-depth review of the shoe. These, like I said, came from Neiman. These are a pair of Tom Ford. These are a pony hair zebra, I guess, stripe shoe now this shoe has about a four inch heel but you can see it's a wider heel so it doesn't really give it the appearance that it's a four inch heel now when i purchased these the regular price of this shoe was seventeen hundred dollars i got the shoe i believe it was 671 dollars off of their clearance rack now what's really cool about this shoe is it is an ankle strap shoe and then it has like this really cool like keyhole or toggle lock as you can see right there and the shoe looks really really good on the foot now like i explained to you all in my dallas vlog this shoe actually right around the toe box area of the shoe it was very tight the sa he took it up to their shoe room or whatever and he actually stretched the toe box of it so that it wouldn't be so tight on my foot and when he did that it took him like three times to do it and when he did it the shoe fits really good now i haven't had a chance to actually wear these i'm actually um, saving these for the summer of course because i purchased them in the winter but because this is a black and white shoe the possibilities are endless as far as what i can pair it with but i'm very happy with this purchase i don't regret it at all uh, like i said these were 1700 dollars regular price and i got them for 671 just another thing that i purchased retail all right another thing that i purchased retail are these pair of jessica simpson shoes now i know looking at this it probably gives it a very distinct shoe that maybe a young lady would wear to prom or something that you would wear with an evening gown but for me i really really like the green color of the shoe i've really been looking to add a um dark green or emerald green if you will to my collection i didn't have anything in my collection this color and i really really do enjoy the detailing on the front of the shoe how it has like the ostrich type feather detail going throughout the rose that's in the shoe the heel on the shoe is a very comfortable high it's not too high and it's not too low and then it's just the ankle strap um as you can see but the shoe is really really pretty it has like a satin finish on it it's not satin by any means but you know it has a satin finish and now i did have to get these in a size up i'm normally a size nine but um in jessica simpson and steve madden in particular i already know that i have to go up a half size so got these and these were regular price i, I want to say 80 dollars, and i got these for 35 dollars, if i'm not mistaken just another thing that i purchased retail another thing that i purchased retail also from the dillard's end of clearance season sale is a pair of steve madden shoes now in my last vlog you would have already saw me in these shoes because i did try them on in store but it is this pair of sparkly shoes now this is a shoe that you either gonna love or hate and i think your love or hate for is going to depend on how you style it and what you wear it with because there is a lot going on with this shoe the shoe has like these um multicolored rhinestones in it and it straps up around the ankle like it straps up about three times around the ankle and it has this really skinny heel but overall the shoe is you know relatively comfortable for about as comfortable as, as a steve madden shoe can be now these shoes were marked down to 45 dollars regular price for the shoe was 130 dollars, as you can see right there and like i said this shoe it is a lot going on with the shoe when i was actually in the um store trying the shoe on there was this older uh there was this older woman there more seasoned as i like to call it and she saw me trying these shoes on and she was like "Ooh," she was like you should wear that with the all black strapless satin dress and turn the heads of all the men i was like you was a baddie back in your day, I can tell, but I won't be wearing it with that. However, I probably will wear it with an all black something because for obvious reasons, you can see why. It is a really pretty shoe on your foot, but there is a lot to digest 
with this shoe, but this is just another thing that I purchased retail. The next thing I purchased retail is also another pair of shoes from our homeboy, Steve Madden. This is also from the Dillard's end of season clearance sale. Y'all, if y'all missed that end of season clearance sale from Dillard's or any of these other retailers, y'all missed a good sale. They The sales may still be going on right now. I know Dillard still has a few sho shoes left, not in store for sure, but online. So if you're looking for a good spring summer shoe, check them out. You won't be sorry. But these shoes right here, this is the Steve Madden shoe and this is called Exotica. It is in an orange snake. Now, although this says it is orange, it in person really does look more red than orange. And this is a dupe or an inspo to the Renee Calvilla shoes. Now, if you've ever seen the Renee Calvilla shoes, it's the shoes. Most of his shoes have like this wraparound detail like this one has, but all of his shoes have a signature sole. All of his shoes are glitter. You know how um, Christian Louboutin has the signature red sole. All of the Renee Calvilla shoes have a glitter sole. I really do want me a pair of those shoes. Those shoes are expensive. They're probably between $1,700 and $2,000. So I'm not ready to digest um, spending $2,000 on a pair of shoes right now. I just am not ready to do that. But this is a good nod to the shoe. Now, Steve Madden actually has a shoe that looks a little bit more like the Renee Calvilla shoe. Um, the, the Renee Calvilla shoe that I want has like butterflies going throughout the part that wraps around your leg. Steve Madden does have one that doesn't look just like it, but it is a um, very good nod to the Renee Calvilla shoe. But this shoe was only $41, and I believe the regular price of this shoe was $119, if I'm not mistaken. And like I said, it is described as an orange shoe, but in person, it definitely does come up more red. So this is another shoe that I purchased retail. All right, the next thing also, shoes again. Y'all can tell I'm a shoe girl. Are these Nike Air Jordan 1s. Now in a previous vlog, I did mention to you all that I'm going to be going to a sneaker ball um, in late March. And I wanted me a pair of sneakers to wear to the ball with the outfit that I'm kind of putting together in my head. So I went to Hibbit to see if there were any unique shoes that I can find. Hibbit did not disappoint. The first pair that I'm going to share with you is this Jordan Retro 1. It's called the Women's Air Jordan Retro High OG. It's in white and metallic gold. Now here's the shoe. Accurate description of what I just read. And then it has like a little um, charm or chain or whatever it is on the shoe as well. And I like these because these are a high Jordan 1. All of the other Jordan 1s I have are the mids. And I did not want to wear a mid with this outfit because I'm going to be wearing a skirt. And sometimes if I'm wearing something short in conjunction with my Jordan 1 mids, it kind of makes my the rest of my leg look a little fat because it cuts off so harshly at the angle. But because this is a high, it's going to give me that high top look and it's going to help elongate the rest of my leg without making it look so stubby so got these as an option to wear to the sneaker ball i'm probably not going to wear these to the sneaker ball because the outfit that i have um that i'm putting together which i'll show you guys in a later vlog or two um this isn't this this is not gonna work well with it but i do like these shoes nonetheless these were 180 dollars, and i think the girl said these came out maybe a few weeks ago. I don't know, child. I don't keep up with releases. My son does. I just go in the store and see what I like. But if you're looking for this shoe, she said it came out a few weeks ago. Um, so this is one shoe that I purchased retail. All right, the next Jordan one that I purchased from Hibbit is this also an Air Jordan one. Now the girl said that these are called reverse pandas. That's what she said. And she said they had just come out the day that I bought them. I didn't go in there looking for this shoe because it was a release. I went in there looking for something that was going to match, you know, the outfit I was going to wear to the sneaker ball. And coincidentally, this was a new release for the day. But I do know that the Dunk was a popular um, shoe when it was released and it's very, very hard to find now. She said these are the reverse pandas in a Jordan form and this is also a high as well. Now this is a men's shoe. Now the description on the box, it says 1985 
Air Jordan 1. Again, child, I don't know what any of that means. I don't keep up with releases. I just go in the store and see if there's something that I like. And these I'm going to be wearing to the sneaker ball. I'm going to be wearing an all black look. And these are going to be um, the accent piece to the outfit that I wear. But these were also 180. Again, this is a men's shoe. If you're looking for this shoe online or in store, I wear a size nine in women. I got these in a size eight and they fit perfectly. So this is another thing that I purchased retail. All right, the last thing that I purchased, kind of retail, kind of not. It was a retail secondhand purchase and it is this purchase that I made from Poshmark. Now this has been on my archive wish list for quite some time and I have been looking and looking and looking and looking for this and I could not find one that I was really wanting to buy either it just didn't like it was in good condition it was priced too high for the condition that it was in I just for whatever reason I just really never found one that I like until I saw it on Poshmark now like I said, this has been on my luxury archive wish list for a while. It is this Fendi spy bag in the tortoise Zuka print. Now, y'all know, for starters, I am really not a logo girl like that. Generally, I don't like to wear things that has like a bunch of logos on it. This bag was an exception to that because I absolutely love this bag. This bag became very popular probably about 10 or 15 years ago. Um, and more recently, in more recent years, maybe the past five years or so, when Rihanna started carrying the Fendi spy bag, she didn't carry this particular print, but uh, she carried the Fendi spy bag in general. Now, Fendi has a lot of spy bags um, in different colorways, different patterns. I only like this one. And I like this one because it has the tortoise print on the strap. And then it has a tortoise print right here on the lipstick case. Coincidentally, this is a lipstick case. And then the cool thing about this purse is it opens up, you have a wallet built in right here. Now, this purse, generally you can probably find it on the resale market for anywhere between six and a thousand dollars. I got this one for 650. Now, the bag you can see is in perfect condition. I actually love this bag. Sadly, the bag is going to have to go back because the seller did not list a defect in the bag and it's in the lipstick case. She did not list that the mirror on the lipstick case right here, there's a cap and it's a mirror right here. So, you know, the gist of it is if you're putting on your lipstick, you can just look in the mirror and put the, you know, put your lipstick on. She did not list that this was a defect in the bag. So when I got it yesterday, I opened it and I was like, oh my God, I'm in love. Looked at it and I was like, I'm not in love no more. But you can see overall the excellent condition that this bag is in. I actually love this bag and I'm so sad that I have to send it back. But Poshmark has already approved my refund request. They've already sent me a return label. So this bag will be going back to the uh, seller today. But I absolutely love this bag. It has, like I said, y'all, has been on my luxury archive wish list forever. So I'm gonna send this one back and I'm gonna keep looking for another one. I know I can find one, but at this price, I don't know. So here it is. The Fendi Spy Bag in the Tortoise Zuka print. Just another thing that I purchased secondhand retail. All right, you guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Like I said earlier, I don't really indulge in retail shopping, but I will partake if it's something that I really want. And if it's on sale, that's just an added plus for me because y'all know I am a thrifty shopper. I hope you enjoyed the items that I share. Drop that in the comments to let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which one you probably would have left if it was you. I love to hear your feedback. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me also on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLooking4 underscore less. And I will see you guys and gals in the next video. Bye, y'all.